Central and northern Wisconsin cranberry farmers continually look to find new ways to incorporate sustainability into their day-to-day -day activities. And Fred Preen is leading the way on his cranberry marsh near Toma, Wisconsin. Preen Cranberry Company now uses the combination of wind turbines and a solar panel to provide electricity for its farm. We have to be good stewards of our land. And if we don't, if we you know use pesticides wrong or we, do, we just take, take, take from the environment, it's gonna come back and haunt us. Maybe not our generation, but the next generation. Preen originally began considering alternative energy sources after a conversation with his son Fritz while the two were traveling in South America. I've always been interested in uh, renewable energy and I was reading a couple books and it got me really jazzed and I knew that we had a cranberry farm and um, it was a great place to, to try out these technologies. After installing his first turbine in December 2009, Fred Preen ordered a second one. With that, Preen is able to power his shop, an employee's home on the marsh, and a large well on his property while creating excess electricity that is sold back to the local energy provider. Presently, the rebates are, are paramount. USDA gave me a, a good grant of 25%, and the stimulus package that came out from 2009 and, and the recession we're in gave me another 30%. We're looking at a photo cell or a solar unit. Todd Planer case, works with the Wisconsin the State Cranberry Growers Association on its whole farm conservation project. Planer supports growers who are exploring alternative energy solutions for their marshes. This includes providing information on site assessments, turbine selection, and the economic realities of such an investment. Even on a site like this, uh, where they may generate most of the wind energy during the winter when it's not being used on the marsh, it still is going back to the grid and that dollar value is offsetting the, uni uh, the units that they use during the growing season. Such sustainability is vital in an area where multi-generational family farms are a pillar of the cranberry industry, the local community, and the state.